الکتاب تلاوتی دوز ٹو ہوم وی گو اور بک دے ریسائٹ اٹ ایز از دی رائٹ آف اٹس ریسائٹل ایز اٹ شوڈ بی ریسائٹ اٹ نو دس ورڈ تلاوا ہیز ٹو میننگس تلاوا مینس ٹو ریسائٹ وچ وی کال ان اردو تلاوت ان عربک وی ہیو ٹو پروناؤنس اٹ از تلاوا وٹ از تلاوا ٹو میننگس دس ریسائٹل ریسائٹنگ دی قران And tala yatlu means also to follow. You know the famous surah, "Washamse wa duhaha, wal kamare za talaha." The sun is a witness to it, and it's its light and warmth also. And also the the moon is a witness when it follows the sun, comes after the sun. To go after something, to follow someone, it is talaha yatlu. So actually. الذين اتيناهم الكتاب يتلونه هم سو ايفر وي جيف اور بوك دي ريد ات ريسايت ات اند فولو ات حق تلاوته ايز ات شود بي ريسايتد ايز از دي رايت اوف ذس بوك تو بي ريسايتد ناو وات از دي رايت اوف ذس بوك هاو ات شود بي ريسايتد شود ات بي ريسايتد وذاوت انڈرستاندنگ اند اف وي ريسايتد وذاوت انڈرستاندنگ are we fulfilling the right of this book should it be read only not to act upon it simple answer would be no it must be read with a determination to follow it with a full determination to act upon it if you are not reading it in that way you are not reading it as you should read it it's only a past time It's only a hobby. It's only to get sawab, you know, nothing else. So, hakka telavati. Again, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa taala. He gives us the determination to fulfill the requirements of this ayah. Allah subhanahu wa taala has given us this book. The biggest blessing in this world is the book of Allah. The word of Allah. I told you, this word of Allah is with Allah. It's actually in the who. فی ام الکتاب لدینا لعلی الحکیم الذین آتیناہم الکتاب یتلونہو حق تلاوتہ اللہم رب نجعلنا منہم اللہم رب نجعلنا منہم اولائک یومنون به only such people are those who really believe in it who are not reciting it or reciting it without understanding and reciting and understanding but not acting upon it they are not the true believers in this book ulaika yu'minuna bihi wa may yakfur bihi fa ulaika humul khasirun and whosoever disbelieves in it then they are people who are in loss they are the losers they are doomed they will be doomed on the day of judgment ya bani israil askuru ni'mati allati anamtu alaykum nay those two ayat they are closing the bracket the bracket started in the beginning of the sixth section یا بلی اسرائیل اسکرو نعمتی اللہ علم تو علیکم وانی فضل تو کم علی العالمین ایکزیکٹلی دی سیم آیا وداؤٹ اینی ڈیفرنس آف اے جاٹ یا بنی اسرائیل اسکرو نعمتی اللہ علم تو علیکم او پروجنی آف یاقوب علیہ السلات والسلام ریمیمبر دی بلیسنگ دیٹ وی سینٹ اپون یو وی چوز یو آؤٹ آف آل دی نیشن آف دی ورلڈ وی میڈ یو ایگزالٹیڈ اوور دی آل دی نیشن آف دی ورلڈ For 2,000 years, you were our representative on earth. We sent books after books to you. We gave Torah to you. We gave Zabur to you. We gave Injil to you. And we gave the scriptures to so many, to so many prophets. You have those, those scriptures in the Old Testament. The, the, the book of Zechariah, Yesriah, Jeremiah, so many prophets. and the books are included in the old testament so what you know blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had been coming to this this community this former muslim umma what taqu yawman la tajzi nafsun an nafsin shay'a have fear of that day of judgment when no person shall avail another wala yuqbalu minha adlun and there will be no compensation to be accepted from any side wala tanfahu shafa'atun nor any intercession would be of benefit to anybody wala hum yunsarun nor will they be 
help from any side. The same four things which were enumerated there in the second ayah of the sixth section, they are also here. First and last are the same, but the second and third have only changed their position. The second is a number three here, and number three there is number two here. Exactly the same ayat, this bracket started and now ended. The direct address to Bani Israel is ending here. And now four sections of this surah, they are the sections which I have called Tahwili, switching over. The switching over is from the former Muslim Ummah to the present Muslim Ummah. And the symbol was the change of the Qibla from Jerusalem, which was the center, the sacred city for them, to Mecca, which is the center and the sacred city of this Ummah. So this switching off of the Ummahs and this changing of the direction of the Qibla, that is the subject discussed in four sections now. And because between these two Ummah, the personality of Hazrat Ibrahim والسلام, is common. Because the former Muslim Ummah also belonged to the progeny of Ibrahim. Ibrahim's son, Ishaq, Ishaq's son, Yaqub, and twelve sons of Yaqub, and from that, from those twelve sons, the twelve tribes of Bani Israel. And again, this new Muslim Ummah, that was raised on the basis of the prophethood of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He also belonged to the progeny of Ibrahim through Ismail Alaihi Salatu Wasallam. So here you find, you know, this is the wisdom of Quran. Before discussing this change of the Ummahs, before discussing this the issue of the change of the Qibla, first of all, the personality of Ibrahim والسلام, is highlighted here. In two sections, Ibrahim, Ismail, building of Kaaba, their prayer when they were raising the foundations of Kaaba, they are discussed. So that the common factor is made prominent first, and then you know the difference that will go, that was going to occur will be discussed.